here's a message to you, VidConners, while I'm VidConning around and talking about how great Grace Helbig's legs are and everything else. I want you to know that you've got to pay homage to the early vloggers, the types like Renetto, the people who had the great popular early shows. Have you ever heard of Andrew Michael Barron of Rocket Boom? Ooh. What about Mike Hudak, who started Blip TV, which was laid to rest sadly, 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 two days ago? Ooh. But what about folks like Spricket24, one of the early female comedians who were YouTube partners? Ooh. But what about ding, Lisa Nova, who became one of the heads of what became Maker Studios? But you only know Maker Studios, you don't remember Lisa. I do. Because I was one of the people who thought, God, that's silly. She's doing comedy. It's not going to go anywhere. Ha, 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 ha. I was wrong. <laughs> because I was so serious into my vlogging about politics and interviewing politicians and everything, which I did carbon niche. But also, so did Sank Uger, who started, ding, the Young Turks, and went on for a moment to MSNBC. Celebrate them. You're going to say, hey, wait a minute, Sank Uger was there. Yes, I know. I saw that. That's great. What I'm saying is that we don't have a true historic timeline of who's involved. And someone would say, well, that's only because you're saying that, Zenny, that people aren't remembering what you've done. You, I would say that's some of that, but not all of it. There's also guys like Ken Goldstein, okay? And, you know, there are women, again, like Sprinkin 24 that I point to. And there are others. And I say again, Renetto, who's been forgotten. Don't forget. But then, of course, yeah, I'm just going to say that. Don't forget. I was about to say maybe they should let you know that they're out there. But no, you should find them. They're not hard to find.